Okay everyone, today we're back with the Hoover Wind Tunnel High Capacity Upright Vacuum. This is a no loss of suction upright with a two year warranty. Two year warranty. And it says it has heavy duty cleaning power, carpet and hard floor, XL 1.5 liter dirt capacity for less emptying and more cleaning. Uh, Multi-purpose pet tools, it has wind tunnel and lo no loss of suction and is great for pets. This is model UH71104. This has whole house cleaning, a pet upholstery tool, it has the pet upholstery tool, a dusting brush, a crevice tool. Again, great for pets. 12 foot extended cleaning reach. It has a performance check indicator. It has a multi-cyclonic filtration system, a HEPA exhaust filter, hard floor scatter guard, wind tunnel technology, a five position high adjust, a rinsable filter, and the 1.5 liter dirt capacity. You can see a nice view of the machine right here. So without further ado, not sure what this thing is. Almost looks like a computer processor. Anyways, um, let's dig right into this upright vacuum. Okay, to unbox your Hoover wind tunnel high capacity, we're gonna take this knife. We're just gonna cut the top off right here, right here, and, and right here. And now the box is open. You will need a screwdriver to unbox your machine because it does have a handle that needs to be assembled. So the first thing you see when you open it will be your instruction manual for your machine. You get this tool right here rubberized pet tool you can also get this dusting brush feel a very very soft dusting brush most a lot of dusting brushes with vacuums this inexpensive are too stiff to dust with look at this dusting brush listen to that incredibly nice dusting brush very soft should do a very good job of dusting next would be the whole machine. Here's your handle. Pretty comfortable Hoover handle. Pretty nice. Next is the whole vacuum looks like. So I'm gonna show you how to take this out. So to take this out, we are going to pull right here. Whoops, and there goes the dirt bin. So we need to take all the plastic off. Okay, now we have it off. Now to assemble your machine, you need to pull this piece of cardboard off you need to undo this screw. The cardboard has the instructions. So you do is take the screw out. All right, this foam is being annoying. And then you put the screw into this little spot back here. And then you tighten the screw to secure it in place. And make sure the handle doesn't pop out. There we go. Keep going until that's good. Place the hose on the handle up here. Now I'll turn in the vacuum around. And we can position the dirt bin. And now we can place the tools on. We can put the dusting brush here and this tool on this little spot right here. You can see it right, right there. And now your machine is assembled. So let's take a look at it. So we're gonna check out the dirt bin. You can see this is a very large dirt bin. Easy empty, just hit this button, 
See, there's the cyclone up there. It's right there. To access your filter, just twist like this. Remove and check underside, because that's where all the dirt's gonna be. The top of the cyclone is right here. Here's the top, it does have their performance check indicator, which tells you if you need to clean your filter. Now you do have another filter. I'm gonna go over some of the features more close up with my other camera. So give me just a second to do that. So to go over some of the other features that you get with your Hoover Wind Tunnel High Capacity, there is a second filter. It's a HEPA filter you pull right here. And here it is. It is coated in this little no, actually, it's just foam. So it's just a foam sponge filter. It does not come with a HEPA filter, strangely. I thought this machine had HEPA filtration. Okay, anyways, that's all right. It does not have a HEPA filter like the last one. It has this sponge filter. That's all right. We still have a pretty good filtration system for everything else at least it's washable you can't wash the HEPA filter and honestly HEPA filters in unsealed vacuums is kind of mm. so this brush roll is different we do have this scatter guard this brush roll is different and I think the agitation is going to be better you could just see these brushes, they are stiff. But you can see in there. Here's where the dirt comes from. Very stiff bristles. A really nice spiral brush roll. So this should do an excellent job of deep cleaning. It's interesting how this machine doesn't have a HEPA filter. I thought this machine did. Well, you can insert a HEPA filter in this, but if you want to, but you just have this really thick sponge filter instead. I haven't seen a Hoover with a, a sponge post-motor filter in a very long time. But we do get a really nice pre-motor filter. But anyways, this looks like a pretty nice machine. I do like the design. The hose looks pretty long. This vacuum will not be good for allergies, even though no vacuums at this price are good for allergies, so that's kind of a thing with vacuums at this price. So give me just a couple of minutes and we're going to get right into testing this vacuum. Let me know what you think. Tell me what you want to see next and I'll see you next time with more videos. Goodbye everyone.